My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a rare car right here. It's a genuine 442 VIN number match 455 motor. And what really makes it special, it's got a four speed sitting in there. And it's pretty well optioned too. It's an air car, it's got power windows, power seat, rear defogger. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs and see about a hundred photos of this car and get the price. But not only on this car, there's a couple hundred collector cars on there all for sale. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first one to see the next video that comes out. But right now, let's go for a spin in a four-speed 442. Overall, just a good, clean, honest, respectable car. It's never had no body off frame restoration. It's not one of those. It's just really clean, very solid underneath the floors and rockers and everything looks to be original metal and really good shape. It's got the rally suspension, which is front and rear uh, sway bars, box control arms. The front end looks like it was all rebuilt. The back end's all rebuilt. It's got new bushings in the control arms, new shocks. It's a 323 rear end, and that is a four speed in there. That's what really makes it special. Not too many Oldsmobiles came with four speeds. Most were automatics. It has the four speed center console that's different than the automatic. Um, bottom of the motor is clean. So the starter, the oil, oil Oil filter all looks good. The body is clean and straight. Uh, it's not wavy down the sides, across the top. All looks really good. I'm going to say it's got full quarter panels. I was up in there with my flashlight and it looked original, but then I seen a sticker on the inside. So it's a new panel, but the point I'm making, I couldn't see any cuts or welds. So they did a nice job putting full quarter panels on. The doors are real clean. It does have 1970 fenders because it doesn't have the crumple zones that came out in 71 on the inner lip here. Um, it's smooth, so it's 1970 fenders, and they're clean. Uh, windshield looks real nice and clear. All the stainless moldings are much above average. They were probably replaced. These are 1970-only mirrors. It has the crease going around it. Uh, hood fits real nice. The trim up front sparkles. It's not new, but it looks really good. The bumper, the grills, the headlight bezels, all of that is standing here looks new. If you get up on it, it's got little freckles, a little patina. Uh, these are uh, chrome uh, 442 wheels, but honestly, they're from the 80s. They weren't chrome back then. I think it's a nice upgrade. I've got BF Goodrich tires, door handles shiny. There is a chip on the front edge of this door right here. This trim right here has got some light scratches in it. Door jams are painted nice, got new weather stripping. The interior is just a neat, well cared for interior. The rear bumper has been re-chromed. It's got the cutouts that a 442 has with the trumpet exhaust tips, they call it. Uh, trunk floor is all clean metal. It's got the jack, got the spare under the lid. The jams painted real nice, new rubber. The original trunk light works. Got the stickers under there. So a real nice trunk compartment. Got a car cover. That's an air conditioning compressor in the box. It looks like the original one. It's removed from the car. This is an air car, but it needs some work to make that all functional. Interior is really nice. There's a crack in the vinyl, and that uh, welting is worn right here. An upholstery guy can fix just that. Otherwise, the seats are real nice. It's all the seat belts, even the shoulder belts. Door panels are real nice and straight. Has uh, an inside hood lock. Yeah, very nice looking motor compartment. That's a rebuilt 455 motor. It's got an Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock carb, uh, new alternator. Very nice and clean. Has some coated headers on there. This is a factory air car, which is really rare with any four speed. Usually you got an automatic with air. They've got a new condenser and a new dryer up front. 
the compressor is in a box in the trunk. So the air conditioning is here. It's an air car with some new parts. You'll have to invest a little money to get it working the rest of the way. But I tell you what, having an air four-speed car, that's a big deal. Uh, nice carpet, embroidered floor mats. The whole dash area is nice. The glove box door, the ashtray door fits nice. The vents, the bezels, the heater control panel, all that's really nice. Has a sport steering wheel. Now, as far as options, of course, bucket seats with the console, and that console is unique to the four speed. It has power windows, power seat that actually works, rear defogger, a clock. And all the lights work under the dash, uh, in the uh, map light here on the mirror, the dome light, uh, the light under the dash here works. Inside the ashtray is the matching cigarette lighter. The kick panels are nice. The rear mesh speaker tray is original. That's real nice. Got three auxiliary gauges down below the dash. You can watch your temperature and oil pressure and amps. These Oldsmobiles have a unique sound. I always say they sound like a boat in the water. It's got more of a deep. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, good-looking, rare car right here. Trunk shuts nice. One little tiny dimple. Not chipped or anything, but a little tiny divot. So there you have it. Go to our website, volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact our staff. We can help with any questions, concerns about the car, delivery, financing, paperwork. That's what we do. Let us know how we can help. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. And you'll see the next video first. Thanks for watching and come back for more.